finally made it! Almost. All right, so I'm not taking the normal entrance that I normally would, normally, 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 into uh, Hollywood Studios because I wanted to come through this back way to see what we can peep out with Star Wars construction. I'm gonna do it nice and slow here, as slow as I can. Look at that. Wow. So we've got some rock work happening. Things are shaping up. We've got buildings here. Lots of stuff happening all over the place back here. And this is the big ride building. Wow. So much stuff. This is where the adats were, I believe. It is. And this is the back of the Muppets. Former streets of New York. But Star Wars. What? And then over here, this is kind of still where I expect the hotel to go. So everyone's asking about when do you think this is going to open in 2019? And they have been pretty clear in saying that Galaxy's Edge will open in concert with the hotel. Which, um, as you can see, I think there's still a lot to go. And this is a crazy turn on the road. Uh, but you can see in here, everything is dug out, at least for a split second. Everything's pretty much dug out in there. Um, foundation. There you go. Kind of going in. But unless this is the fastest hotel to go up, I'm thinking it's going to be way late in 2019 by the time that our Star Wars stuff opens up. On the tram. The sun's going down. Goodness, it's a Disney day. We haven't been back here in a minute. And I am happy to be here, even if it's less than two hours. It's fine with me. No, it's, uh, this is part of the fun. You give all the rest of cast members a hard time. <laughs> Have a great evening. Thanks. Enjoy. So, the scanners for the magic band, special magic band, still don't make any noise here. Hey, the good news is it looks uh, pretty quiet here. Hollywood launch bay. We walked in the park, immediately made a left at Walt Disney Presents. This is Toy Story Land, officially opening June 30th. Um, you can't see much, except for that. But you can see June 30th. By the way, that's Jess's birthday, so we're definitely not going to be here on opening day, because the last thing I think she's going to want to do is spend time in lines at Toy Story Land. However, I do expect that this will start soft opening in just one more month. I would say by the end of March, we'll be in soft openings for Toy Story Land. So we saw the construction progress for Star Wars Land, Galaxy's Edge <laughs> on the way in. This is what it looks like when you're in the park by Toy Story Mania. You can't see a lot because they've added a bunch of greenery over here to block your views. But the only thing that you'd really be able to see is this building construction that's happening back there. But you got a much better view as you drove in. Oh, there's a crane. They call that Anna Crane Skywalker. And there is one tiny thing back there that you can see. So there's that. Army man. Here's your update for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Stay tuned. That's basically it. There's no real update about this ride. Um, I've seen the concept art for the ride that looks fun um, online. I think it's mostly screens and like some animatronics. So, 4D? 4D! Hey, Stitch is doing a meet and greet outside of the ABC commissary. Here's the entrance to Galaxy's Edge. So you, this is what we saw on the backside coming in. See some of the rock work or spire work over here. And it's kind of all that you could see because of the walls. Disney are masters at doing this. Now you have to imagine, I just walked into Galaxy's Edge and this is what we're gonna see. Hyper-realistic, right? R5-D4 over there. 
Millennium Falcon. Um, that guy. Gonk droid. Oh god, if they have gonk droids walking around, I, I think I would like live here. That would be absolutely amazing. We need the gonk droids. We need their sounds. We, that, it, it has to happen. But it's kind of weird. They don't have like any big characters here. Not even in the Falcon. You do get IG-88 uh, when you can see his head inside of Launch Bay uh, as part of the cantina setup. So, you know, basically here's like what we were looking at behind the wall. You have those spires that were rock work starts of it that are peeking out. Of course, right outside the entrance that's not open yet, we already have a kiosk with Star Wars goodies, including Galaxy's Edge goodies. So, you have DJ Rex. I am not a fan of DJ Rex. I love Rex. I think it's kind of an embarrassment to have him as a DJ uh, in there, but it is what it is. At least he will live on. Here's the shirts. And you could buy that piece of concept art. Uh for 40 bucks and you can look at that every day until summer or fall of 2019. Here is a genuine at 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 in the Ewok village. Please make sure to I want to learn to be a Jedi. Admiral Ackbar has one of the most memorable lines in all of the Star Wars movies. Dies in The Last Jedi and no one even cares. And by the way, if that's a spoiler for you at this point, I can't really help it because, oh look at that, Chandrilia is taking off at 11.38. Cool. But in any event, the movie's been out for quite a while. It comes out on digital release in another like two weeks, so you watch it and agree with me in the comments. Here's Rex in his proper place. He should be piloting a ship. Not spinning records. Security theater brought to you by Star Tours. Fluorescent lights. Star Tours. You know who wouldn't need help? Rex. That's who. This lady just took a call during the ride. And I didn't want to get out of her seat. That's cool. We got Maz in the cutscene this time. It was awesome. I've only seen that on YouTube videos. She was talking directly to me. She said that she needed my help. So I obliged. They have new solo shirts. For sale here is Solo and Chewbacca. Force for change, yo. Force for change. They got kids version too. The adult one is $32.99. Nothing on the back. Cool looking shirt though. And of course that's in addition to the standard solo shirt. Oh my goodness. Ah, I'm knocking stuff over. These are so cool looking. Look at that Tuscan Raider and the Bantha. 30 bucks. Tons of dust on it though, so I must have missed this before. And by the way, I implore you, if you're looking for these things, you gotta go to Target. They're all 50% off or more. So these are 10 bucks a piece now. And in the park here, uh, they're free. There's no price on any of them. And these, this one at Target is $12. It's normally $24 at Target, but again, no price. Oh my goodness, Jedi Stitch. It's so cool. Look at this hat. I bet you get a free bowl of soup if you buy this hat. Also this one. This is an outlet special for sure. Olaf, where's everybody? It's getting hot outside. It's almost summer, but we don't like, you don't like summer though. That is a tough meet and greet because one, Olaf doesn't talk, and two, there's not a lot to ask. We had a really good meet and greet when he first started uh, meeting people here, but um, what do you ask? You know, hey Olaf, how are you reacting to your critically panned movie? No one liked your short movie, and how does that make you feel? It's awkward. We're going into the Bay of Launches. In Launch Bay, they still didn't fix this sign. This is Last Jedi for the Ewing. It should be Rogue One. That's cool, though. You just own the property. 
that's a tie interceptor. I can't tell you how many comments I got on a video when we were at Star Wars Celebration when I said that a Jedi Starfighter or a Sith Starfighter was a tie interceptor. I got it. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Legit staple gun. Also, no spoilers, but how about Rebels this week? Ooh. Always with the dust, you will. The kids are yelling and arguing with the stormtroopers. Chewie, how you doing, buddy? Absolutely. We're ready two more months. Solo. Yeah. We're gonna wait for Kylo Ren now. Chewbacca. Cool fucking. Love you, Chewie. Just telling you. Friend to friend. Poor Emily. You're in the wrong spot. Thank you. Thank you, Supreme Leader. Wait a second. I know I said earlier that the IG-88 head was here. I'm pretty certain it was like right here. I have to go back now and look at old video. There's nothing new in here, but I do love that they have that ice cream maker. Oh, there's the head. Hmm. I've had some time to reflect on this now for a while. This pistol, or blaster, looks so much like the Naboo Garg guns, I believe. Or it's either that or Padme's gun. It feels uninspired, like it, it is a copy of a gun from the boot. It looks like this Star Trooper is tiptoeing over the guy that's fallen down. Oh, look at this Chewbacca and the Porgs figure. 150 bucks. These guys are like, wandering around. There's nobody here. They actually do take pictures with people now. Now they've got a crowd going. This kid's like scared to death of the stormtrooper. Uh, we're gonna go in the Tower of Terror. I think this is the last ride for us for the night because it's 20 to 8. Welcome to Jurassic uh, Tower of Terror. There's a lot of dust. Check out this magic band. It makes Kylo Ren's noise. Right, Emily? Is this room 806 or 908? And why is there airmail at the Hollywood Hotel? Quick, study the pages on the book. What does that say? Oh. There's Jedis on this ride. Star Wars is everywhere these days. Just chilling. How about you? R.I.P. Paradise Pier. Look, they have a new twist on these spirit sweaters. Like, here's the sweater, but they have the shirt now that's UPF 50, long sleeve, which is great. And on the back, still has the writing. This is $60. And I also have it in red for all of your stiff needs. And here's the regular one that's kind of like regular t shirt material. That's also 60 bucks. I would totally get this, except for the white. I'm pretty pudgy, so you can see right through this, just as an FYI. White may not be the best look. Red is cool. It's also very Mickey Mouse-like. It's like Mickey colors. Porg backpacks. Oh, they're from Loungefly, too, which means that they're probably going to be super expensive. How much are you, Porg? Oh, goodness. They have the camp shirt with, like, all of the new badges. 60 bucks. And to go along with that, you can get socks. So you can literally wear the socks that match that. 
and the backpack on top of it. Ooh, Rubik's Cube. You guys know I love Rubik's Cubes. This is Disney branded. You have the main characters in here. This is Donald, Mickey, and Minnie. Very cool. Here's the pictures. How much are you, Rubik's Cube? 15 bucks? Uh, it's like double the price of a regular Rubik's Cube, but it's Disney. Here's the new Black Panther Magic Band. It's got some writing there. Wakandian writing. That's what it looks like on one side. And there it is on the other side. No word on what it does at the turnstiles. Although we know if you use it at the front, it's not going to do anything because they just have the sound off on it. This is the greatest magic band of all time. It's Oogie Boogie and Lock, Stock and Barrel. How many magic bands do you need though? I would love this one, but I have like five of them already that are active. All right, Hollywood Studios. We're out of here. Did a lot in a short period of time again. I'm back home from Hollywood Studios. That was a lot of fun going out to Hollywood Studios. It was a lot more fun than I've had in a long time going to the parks. If you've watched the channel for a while, you know I've kind of said that, you know, I was taking a break for a bit with theme parks and trying to get out to them because it was the same thing all the time. It starts to feel a little bit more like a routine. And, uh, you know, we've been asked this a bunch of times, you know, does it get burnt out? I mean, it's, it's tough because I'm sitting here and I'm saying I'm going to Disney or I'm going to Universal or we're doing these awesome things. And there's folks that try to get out to these places um, once in their entire lives, but I think you get jaded when you live in Florida because it's part of the, the culture here and, and people and it, 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 you know, the reality is so much cheaper to have an annual pass than it is to pay for a vacation to go somewhere. And I know the feeling from when we go out to like Disneyland or go to other places. But in any event, um, it, it felt fresh. It felt new tonight. And it was great seeing a lot of construction out there for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Um, stuff is really starting to take shape and it's starting to feel real. Um, you know, although Toy Story Land is just a couple of months away, um, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is following right behind it, and it's going to be really awesome, especially for me. I mean, it's like a dream come true to have um, a Star Wars theme park. I remember back a few years ago at Star Wars Celebration when they had um, artist prints, and there was a, like a Star Wars Land type thing, full theme park based around Star Wars and the Rise, etc., and we all thought like that would be amazing if that happens, and it's happened. So um, I'm psyched. In any event, thank you for coming along with me. And thank you very much for all of your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.